Your sound system is one of the most important creature comforts in any vehicle. And for a BMW, one of the most popular factory options would be the Harman Kardon sound system, a partnership that Harman Kardon and BMW formed back in 2010. So let's learn about what makes Harman Kardon so great and some of its limitations. Welcome back, I'm Dylan with Beamer Tech, and today we're going to be talking about the two main Harman Kardon systems you could find in your BMW. That would be Harman Kardon Hi-Fi option code S674A or the Harman Kardon surround system option code 688A. Let's learn a bit more about each of them. BMW's Harman Kardon Hi-Fi system, option S674A, consists of 12 speakers and an 8-channel BMW amp in the trunk. Only seven of those channels are used to power the speakers, so while the sound is good, it's more on par with BMW's Hi-Fi system, option 676. Even the subs are just two ohm woofers, like the 676 Hi-Fi. The Harman Kardon surround system option 688A is definitely the higher end of the Harman Kardon systems. However, this does depend on the age of your BMW. BMW's pre-iDrive 7 arguably have the better sounding system compared to BMW's with iDrive 7 and newer. In the pre-iDrive 7 BMWs, the 688 system that appeared in larger vehicles such as the X5, 3, or 5 series usually came with 16 speakers including two 8 ohm woofers, 7 mids, and 7 tweeters placed all over the vehicle. The pre-iDrive 7 Harman Kardon amp has 9 channels and 600 watts max power. It features fiber optic audio for the cleanest signal and a very customizable equalizer to allow you some good control over how you hear your music iDrive 7 is where things get a bit different. BMW Audio Systems architecture was completely redesigned for all stereo options. One of the biggest changes would be each system sharing a version of what's called a receiver audio module or RAM. Now the RAM only has a total of seven outputs, which is not enough for all nine channels. So BMW added a second amp called a booster, which powers the two subs, which leaves the RAM to power the seven tweeter and mid channels. Now, some models aside, most BMWs with this system are only getting a max 464 watts, which is a huge noticeable difference. Now, while watts don't mean everything, they certainly do play a big factor. Now that you know about these systems, how do both of them compare to the regular old BMW 676 Hi-Fi? Well, the biggest differences are going to come down to the amp and speaker count. Now, while this does depend on which BMW you have, which iDrive system you have, and which HK system you have, they're all going to deliver so much better audio compared to the base Hi-Fi. While the Harman Kardon system sounds good, well, some of them do, if you want one of the best sound systems for your BMW Mini or Supra, well, you can't go wrong with an Alpha One system by Beamer Tech. While not trying to make this a sales pitch for us, Alpha One is a complete plug and play system. We have our new Lightwave Amp for earlier systems and our main Alpha One Amp for newer systems. Both our Lightwave Amp and main Alpha One Amp have substantially more power than the factory Harman Kardon amps. Each amp has the ability to easily install an external sub and drive it flawlessly. All Alpha One amps are tuned for your specific model BMW, the music you want to listen to, and your own ears based on the information you let us know during your checkout. Each speaker is designed to be able to handle more power without distortion for clean highs, rich mids, and deep lows. They are all plug and play and fit perfectly in factory mounting locations. So the Harman Kardon system sounds great, but if you really want the best, well, Alpha One by Beamer Tech is the way to go. All right, that's enough of the sales pitch for now. And that is Harman Kardon, one of the top sound systems you can get from the factory in your BMW. As you can see, or rather hear, some of the differences come down to what system options you have and what BMW it's in, but either way, they're all gonna sound better than the 676 Hi-Fi and leaps and bounds better than the base system, if you could even find a BMW with the base system. All that aside, if you found this video helpful but wanna learn a bit more about Harman Kardon, then check out our article on this topic, link in the description. For more tips and tricks, product reviews, and so much more for BMWs, Minis, and Supras, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching, or listening, or both.